Pauling. And today we're going to talk about what to do if you have an issue with your portable hard drive. A common question I'm asked is, Paul, I've reinserted my portable hard drive and it isn't working. Or I've lent it to a friend and got it back and it's just not working when I plug it into my computer. Well, before you take it to an expert and spend lots of money, there's a couple of things you can do to identify what the issue may be. And you can save possibly hundreds. So firstly, a portable hard drive, much like a hard drive in your computer, is essentially just a small drive like this, put normally inside a small plastic container. Now, I do advise you, and I've got a slight disclaimer here, this is really something only professionals should do. If you're messing around with your hard drive and you've got important data on there and something goes wrong, it's much better to have an expert or professional that has something there covered for you or to take it back to the manufacturer. However, you can identify what issue it is before you actually take it to them and save yourself some time. Um, there's a couple of reasons why. Firstly, when you're uh, looking at a hard drive, they are extremely sensitive, so they do use specific tools, and also the other issue is security. Uh, if you give your hard drive to just anybody, they'll plug it into their computer and they'll have access to all your files. Even if you don't have sensitive information on there at the moment, data that was saved on there before may still be able to be recovered. Uh, professionals will use a live operating system which enables them to look at your data without actually storing any of it. It's stored on the RAM. And I'll actually be using Gparted, which I'll leave details for in the description section. Okay, now if there's a ticking, uh, that's obviously means the drive is damaged and it's been dropped or bumped or whatnot. Um, call the manufacturer, see what they can do. Look, Google it. You, you will find people that have clean rooms that can possibly recover the data off the pallets, but be aware that is expensive. Um, now, we will isolate the issue though before you do take it to them. What I'll do first is I'll put up a graphic of what a hard drive looks like and what you can look for. In this image, I've numbered the components and the individual parts of the portable hard drive. Number one is the cable. Number two is the hard drive itself. This is extremely fragile, be careful with this. And number three is the caddy slash case in which the hard drive is kept. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to check the cable. Now uh, the cable will connect to your portable hard drive and uh, if you've got a spare cable, I mean if not, look around the house you'll find a lot of these cables are interchangeable. A cable is only $5 to replace if it's damaged, fingers crossed. Now if it isn't the cable and the hard drive still isn't working, it could be the caddy. Now the caddy is what actually holds the hard drive. Okay, so what we want to determine is if the caddy is the issue rather than the cable. Uh, even test the cable, just, pre just before I move on, test that cable on other portable hard drives or devices to see if it's the cable that works. Um, so if the cable works, we move on. In today's example, I was given this hard drive by uh, a friend and um, the first thing I noticed was that the USB connection there had been damaged. So um, after testing the cable, I moved on. Uh, I used my iPhone tools, which were able to open the case without damaging it. Now this is a Seagate, uh, Seagate, where are we? It's a Seagate Free Agent Go Flex drive, and it contains a 2.5, one terabyte hard drive. Now once I removed that, um, once again, I only suggest you do this if you are uh, trained or the data on it isn't important. Um, inside your computer, you'll have a SATA connection like this. Most modern hard drives will have a similar connection. Now, uh, if you don't have a spare caddy, which is just here, which should fit in there, um, you can buy these from eBay for fairly cheap or visit your computer store. If you don't have a caddy, you can of course connect it to your computer, but once again, you want to be running it off a live uh, uh, operating system such as Gparted or Ubuntu. Okay, we've established here that the drive is absolutely okay and it was in fact the caddy so we've then put the drive into a new caddy now it's not as sturdy as the original but it will do um, now if you've actually tried the drive using the SATA cables and you've still been unsuccessful and the drive's still not working uh, you, you do need to call a professional however once you've gotten to this stage if you have gotten the drive working, it's good to conduct a smart check. Now that's a, an option there in Gparted, and it just checks the drive's health. Once again, if you have got a damaged drive, uh, you can contact an 
IT professional, make sure they are certified, ensure they've got a clean room, or you can contact the manufacturer. The details for Western Digital and Seagate can be found below. Uh, I also have a blog which gives you basic care details and other sorts of tips and hints when looking after your drives and looking after your data since so much of our lives are digital. Uh, the details for that are also below in the description section. Once again, thank you very much. I hope your data hasn't been destroyed and you've been able to recover it using one of these isolation processes. I hope you haven't had to spend too much money. But once again, it's always good to back up, back up regularly, and never ever lend your drive out. Let someone bring over a small USB to, to share files with. It's okay if these get lost, but your, your memories and your photos, if you're lending out a drive or a, a small portable hard drive with all those and you lose those, they may not understand the sentimental value that you have to that drive and, and of course you, it's hard getting upset for that and, and God forbid that should ever happen. But once again, thank you. I wish you all the best. See you next time.